all right what is up everybody it is yo aspire here and i'm back with a new tutorial in sony vegas today and um so i was working on a music video like last night and um i was working on some text for a certain part of the music video and um i'm when i was messing around with the text i ended up making this really cool looking like and very realistic looking chrome effect in sony vegas and i haven't really seen anyone else do a tutorial on this like i've seen some other ones but they don't look like very realistic but this one i think the one i made looks like extremely realistic and it's like a very nice looking effect so i just wanted to make a tutorial on that so um the first thing i'm gonna like start from the very beginning for like if you're new to sony vegas you can still follow along with the tutorial so um the first thing you want to do when you're uh doing this effect you want to just grab some text here you just want to go to media generators go to legacy text over here and just drag it onto the timeline so um then um so you want to affect once you do that you want to just affect the um the text here i'm just going to keep the word sample text because i got just a tutorial i don't really need to change anything but and then um the next thing i want to do is i want to change the font you can pick whatever font you want but i'm going to use this um cool looking font called true lies it's just a very nice looking um font and i think it fits for like this kind of effect too in my opinion then i'm going to turn the bold off here which is on by default and like if you have a certain text um i mean font you want to use i would recommend turning the bold off too because like it's on by default and it makes the text of the font not look as good as it would originally so um, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the properties here and then you just want to change the um the color of the text to like a very light blue something like it's not to be perfect but like this is a good color right here just something that's extremely light blue then um so after that let me just save this the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the effects panel here then you want to go to um an effect called s drop shadow which is a sapphire plugin which I'm pretty sure, like, if you've been using Sony Vegas for a minute, I'm pretty sure you have, like, the Sapphire plugins because they're, like, very helpful for editing. So I'm just going to add that in here. Uh, I'm going to just drag on the default. I have, like, some presets, but I'm just going to drag on the default so I can show you guys how to, like, you know, affect everything. So, um, obviously, like, the shadow color is by default black and my background is black, so that's why you can't see anything here. But, um, so you just want to click on the color box here and you want to change the color to, um, a very light gray like extremely light something like uh something like i'm gonna make it a little bit lighter and this is all right this is fine i'll make it just a little bit lighter actually and okay there we go then the next thing you want to do when you're doing this you want to um and also when you drag add this effect in make sure you drag it to the entire layer and not just the text that comes that's important later but wait, when you add it in just make sure you drag the um, effect so i'm going to show you guys you want to um, drag it not onto the text but onto the whole layer like this. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this back to where how I had it. And uh, okay, yeah, that's the color. And then the next thing you want to do is change the shadow blur to zero because for this effect you don't really need it. And the reason we're adding drop shadow is because the effect the um, the text looks uh, it makes it makes it look a lot better when it's like kind of like 3D looking. So that's why I'm adding some drop shadow and I want to keep like the color, like the chromeness. I want to keep that like um, consistent. That's why we made this drop shadow like a lighter gray instead of like some other random color. So um, the next thing you want to do is I want to make the, make the text look like, um, I mean the shadow look like it's right behind the thing. So it looks kind of like 3D-ish. So I'm just going to affect the X shift here at first. And um, just make sure it looks like it's right behind it. So maybe like a little bit like. Okay, that should be good for the X. And then I'm gonna affect the Y here and just bring this up. And just, all right, bam, that's, yeah, this is perfect right here. So you just wanna make it look like it's right behind the text here. So you wanna like, it may not be the exact same for your Sony Vegas, but these are like the settings I have to make it look right behind it. You just wanna like save this, like, I don't know, like, I guess 3D text. Cause it's not, you know, it, it just looks a little bit 3D. It's not perfect, but it just makes it look a little bit more 3D. So you want to save that so you can use it another time. You can do the yeah, safety settings. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to a regular Sony Vegas plugin. This is not like something you have to download. It's just something that comes with Sony Vegas and it's called TV Simulator. And when you add this effect, you want to add this effect just to the text alone, not to the um, entire layer like before. So this is what it looks like when it's first added and it, you can't really see the chrome at first, but I'm just going to affect the settings here so you, you know, so you can make it look as chrome as possible so the first thing you would change here is the detail zoom and the detail zoom is um what we use as our reflections to make it look chrome so like um when it's too far out it makes it look like like the ref thing you're reflecting is very far away that's why it's like it looks so small so we're going to turn that all the way up you can keep it a hundred at a hundred percent um you can keep it at a hundred percent 
uh, I mean like all the way up if you want to but it also looks good if it's like maybe a little bit further back like this looks fine as well then the next thing you want to change is the interlacing and you want to change that all the way to one and uh, so uh, yeah, you want to keep that all the way and we don't need to test these, um, these line sync and the vertical sync because that's like for like the animation and stuff like we don't really need to touch any of that like the vertical sync either just yeah we don't need any of that then the next thing you want to change here is the scan phasing we're just going to keep that zero because that's like an animation effect as well and it kind of affects the glow when we add it so we're going to keep that to zero you can keep it at like maybe like 0.1 if you want to but it looks it also looks fine if it's at zero then the next thing we're going to change is the phosphorus here and um if you you can keep it up if you want to because this kind of makes it look more chrome but i've also noticed that if you keep it like at one it, it looks a little bit icier and if you want to make like some ice looking text you can keep it at one but i'm going to make it chrome for now so we're just going to drop it a little bit try to keep it like in the middle so now it looks more metallic and less blue so like it really um so it looks a little bit more chrome then also you can you can affect the static if you want but you don't really have to it just you can keep it the same and also the aperture grill here this kind of affects like the saturation of the reflections we have here like the little the colors that we have so like if you keep it to zero then now it has like no reflections no like the light is not being like um it's not being separated which doesn't look very realistic but if you want to make like some metal text this is this may work for you but um for the chrome like for the chrome looking text you just want to add on something in the middle like something in between because too high doesn't look realistic in my opinion it's like way too saturated the colors are way too dark so we're just gonna keep it in the middle for now so it's a little bit lighter and more realistic okay so that's it for the tv simulator part of it um for that for, um, for that part we we'll just save this again and then now we're gonna go to another sapphire plugin called glint we're just gonna go up here and let's go s underscore glint right there we're gonna add on the default and when you add this on you want to add this to the entire layer too okay so at first this like um so what this does is it makes the reflections like stand out more because a chrome tech like a chrome texture in real life like it reflects light so we want ours to reflect light to make it look more realistic so um and when you first add it like the light is clearly reflecting on the text here like you see like you know the light is brighter at certain parts but if you want to make it look like more realistic in my opinion because this is like too much it looks too perfect so the thing you can do is um first thing i'll affect is the threshold here and what the threshold does is um, it affects how much light is coming in. So like if we had lower the threshold, that means it's going to be like a whole bunch of light. And um, I mean, if you want to like animate it and basically like be like an intro, like it starts off like this and then it changes to this, you can do that. But just for like, you know, for the tutorial, we're just going to keep it a little bit lower. Like this is a pretty good threshold in my opinion. It is a pretty good amount right here. So it's not too bright. It looks, yeah, it looks, it looks a little bit better. The next thing we're going to change is the size here. And what the size does is it affects how much um like how far how far the streaks go away from the source here which is the text so um like the size looks pretty good to me in my opinion like default but i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller like just a little bit so it looks so it's very, like a lot closer then the next thing we want to do is which i affect all the time i can never leave this at zero is the uh, the blur of the glint like i said um like when you first add it on it looks too perfect so um i think the blur makes it look a little bit more realistic so we're just gonna add a little bit of that to make it like um, just make it look a little bit more realistic. If you want to add a lot so it looks like a lot of like a fate like a haze around it, you can do that. But um, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna um, keep it too much. But I think this is like you know if you want to do something like this, you can. But I'm not gonna make it so much like that. I'm gonna keep it something maybe like a little bit less. Okay, this is this is pretty good. And also like when you add the blur. If you can make the size like a lot lower and it still looks kind of cool, like the way the light hits it, like um, make it even smaller. Like this looks pretty cool, like that little um, like that those those lights coming like glowing up around certain parts of the text looks kind of cool. If you want to do something like that, you can. But I'm just gonna um, make it a little bit bigger for mine. Yeah, a little bit more. And okay, that's this is pretty good. Yeah. I'm also I'm gonna change the brightness down a little bit too, so it's not too like dynamic. Looks no more realistic. Oh, that's too loud. A little bit more. And okay, this this is pretty good. And I'm gonna add the blur up just a little bit more. You can also affect the threshold blur too. You can like mess around with this to get it to how you like it. But um, 
I don't really, yeah, I'm not gonna mess around with this too much. But uh, so yeah, this is what I, this is like the pretty good, this is a pretty good preset you can have from your Glint. There you can just keep it like this, you, but, you, but you can mess around with it to get it to how you like it. So, um, and also, once you finish this, cause this is pretty much like set up for the whole um, effect. Once you have these two like to your liking, you can save this so you won't have to like do this whole process again. You can just go to the F plus here on the plugin, like which takes you to the plugin chain. Then you want to um, hit save as. You can save it to whatever you want. I already have mine saved, but I'm just going to call it, you can just call it Chrome text and just hit OK. And I think I already have one. But yeah, so I'm just going to replace it for now. You can hit Chrome text and then um, you just go to your filter packages here. Cause I think you start off here, which is the regular Sony Vegas effects. If you want to get to your personal presets, you want to go to filter packages and you just, um, you know, you just pick the name that you called it and just drag it on. Okay, so that's basically it for the tutorial. But um, there's something else you can do with this if you're like, this is good for like a picture or like just, you know, very just not animated text. If you, but this, that's what this is good for. But there's something else you can add to it, which is um, I noticed that you want to make it look like something's like moving around the reflection to make it look just a little bit more realistic. You can animate it in the um, TV stimulator. Oh, and also you should save this too. Like I'm just save this as Chrome look. You don't have to do the F plus for this because it's just one effect. So you just want to change. I'm going to call it Chrome look. You can just hit save. And then when you go to your TV simulator, it'll just be right there as a preset. So, um, yeah. But um, if you want to, um, like I said, want to make it look a little bit cooler with some animation, I'm just going to hit the animate here in the bottom left corner. And then I'm, what you want to affect is the detailed zoom, which, like I said, affects our reflections. So I'm going to start it off maybe a little bit lower. And then you just want to go to the end of your text, which is wherever for you. And um, I'm just going to add it up just a little bit more. So when you move it, it'll look like our reflections are moving. It looks like something is moving behind the, um, behind the, um, like whatever they're reflecting off is moving, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. Like the text has like some environment to it. So, um, yeah, that just makes it look a little bit cooler. And, um, there's a lot of things you can do with this. Like, um, I, uh, but that, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Like this is like, this is the effect right here, but there's a lot of things you can do with this. Like I exported this text, to, um, to after effects, which I'll show you guys in a second. And I added it in like a motion track which also looks pretty nice. So I'll just, I'll show you guys that real quick. So um, this is what it looks like after I exported it to After Effects. I just um, saved the PNG that I had in Sony Vegas and just exported it to, um, and brought in After Effects and made it into a motion track just so I can show you guys like what you can do with this effect. You don't have to just keep it in Sony Vegas. You know, you can do a lot of things with this. You don't have to just like, you know, stay in Sony Vegas. You can mix softwares and things like that. So I just wanted to show you an example of that. Something you can do outside of Sony Vegas. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I also added like a little flicker in After Effects to make it look a little bit more real. You can see like the lights like flickering. And um, I had to affect the glint a little bit because it got a little like it, it didn't look like it wasn't showing as much when I saved it as a PNG. So I had to add a little bit in After Effects, but not a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys were able to learn something. If you have any other tutorials you want me to do in the future, just let me know in the comments. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.